Today's verse is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16. Rejoice always. Amen. The main purpose that you and I was been created in this earth people is for us to rejoice, take happiness, gladness, enjoy it through the Lord. Amen. So rejoice always, enjoy always, never end. God Almighty, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, forever live long, everlasting salvation. All these words give comfort and proves there is a never ending love for us through Jesus, right? Genesis 1.28 says, The first blessing that God has blessed humanity was to enjoy his creations. He gave everything for us to enjoy people. And this verse 5.16 clearly says that there is no suffering, no pain or trouble or barrier or heart takes or sicknesses or depression or anything that is going to make you sit and cry in the corner people. Enjoy and rejoice and believe it is given to you through the cross. God says it is not only now, a time period, but for always means for the life which you live right now and the life after death. It is forever, people. Rejoice always. All God wants us to believe in Him and enjoy through Him. Let us believe and trust Jesus. When you are in a battle, in a fighting stage, right? Battle which means when you're facing problems in your life. God has told us in Exodus 14:14, 14, 14, The Lord will fight for us and all He wants us to be still. He will do the fighting. And when I know when God fights for me, I know there is only victory. Amen. And when you are depressed, he says in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4, who comforts those in all the troubles. So he is the comforter for us. Amen. And when you don't know where to go, or when you want somebody to teach you, here he is again in John 14, 26. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things. Amen. He is always there, people. In every situation for us, all he wants us to believe in him and enjoy always. Philippians 4, 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. So people, happiness is in the Lord. When you completely believe in Him and enjoy through Him, people. It is not that once He's, he's saying that in this statement, in this verse. It is twice that He says, Rejoice in the Lord always, and I will say it again, rejoice. So the same two words which God has inspired me at the beginning of this message. So He is double proving it, double strong. Out of many names our God has, the two other names that he has is faithful and truth. And he also says, when Moses asked him, he says, I am. Amen. So rejoice always, for he is there. People. So let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this beautiful day that you have given us, Lord. We claim this verse, we apply this verse in our life, my master. Rejoice always. From now on, from this very second, we will only rejoice because we know what you did on the cross for us. You have taken everything, Lord. Every troubles and sicknesses and pain for us, Lord Jesus. It is only for us to hear these two words so that we will rejoice every time always Lord and it is through you Jesus we truly believe in you and we comfort this words and we pray our life is an everlasting life we believe in you and it is a free life a freedom that you have given us Lord so thank you Jesus for this day and rest of these days we keep it in your arms Lord for you take it through for your name to be glorified we will rejoice always. Amen. God bless you.